What's going on everybody? Rick from Gardening with Bart Chuckin. Still in Virginia, heading back today. We we're gonna do a little uh, thing outside, but it is cold here in Virginia right now. 36 degrees. So I'm in my brother's garage to show you uh, what we're planning on doing. He's gonna finish planting it. I picked him up some grow bags and some seed potatoes. It's a seven gallon grow bag. So with the seed potatoes, that we have, we have a Yukon Gold, and we have a, a red potato. They've all started getting their eyes, but you can just plant a potato in the grow bag. If you do decide to cut your potatoes, you need to go ahead and let that area scab up. If you don't, when you plant it in there, there's a good chance that the potato is just gonna rot. So once you cut it, let the air hit it for a little while. It will start getting hard. So after we make our cut, always scab side, cut side down, and the eyes pointing up. So I know I definitely want this side to be going up. There's another eye here, another eye here. So the way I'm thinking about cutting this guy is gonna be like this. And see how it's wet on the inside, which is a good thing. But this here is all going to get kind of hard and scabbed over. Here's the red potato. There's some eyes there, some eyes there. So this one I think I'm going to cut right like that. So you can see there's an eye there, there's an eye there, there. So that's where the green growth is gonna come up from the potatoes. This is the grow bag. I've already explained to my brother, and I'll let everybody know, is start off with about two inches of soil. He's then gonna place the cut side of the potatoes down onto the soil, and then add another two inches of soil. Wet the, the soil. So now the seed potatoes have been watered in, and it's gonna basically give a cue for these uh, sprouts, these eyes, to start growing. Once they break through the soil and get maybe two inches, three inches high, add more soil to it and just leave just a little above. Once you wanna continually add soil until you have the grow bag completely filled, is each time it grows up, you're covering everything except for just a few leaves sticking out so the sun can charge the leaves and keep forcing out more growth. Meanwhile, you're setting out the roots. On the roots, you'll have little tiny nodules. That's where the potato is actually gonna grow from. This bag should be able to handle both uh, seed potatoes for him. Um, he's gonna do the red in one bag and he's gonna do the Yukon Golds in another bag. Once you have the soil completely filled, you're gonna have growth continuing up two, three feet high. It's gonna take anywhere from, depending on your area and depending on what type of potatoes, about 90 to 120 days to have your potato harvest. So once the, the growth exits the bag two to three feet high, it's gonna end up turning, starting to brown, yellow. When you get close to that 100 day mark, once it does start dying back, you can cut that, compost those leaves. You don't want to eat any potato leaves or any green parts of the, of the potato. That's bad for you. Once, once everything's done, he can just take this, dump it into a large bucket or his wheelbarrow, and sort through, pick out the potatoes. You do not want to clean the potato all the way off until you're ready to eat. You want to leave just a little bit of dirt on it, put it in, say, a paper brown bag, and then keep it in a cool, dark place. That's the best way to store your, your potatoes until you're ready to use them. So what I'm planning on doing is uh, putting a card, hopefully right up here, of the raised garden bed that we did. So if you haven't seen it, you will have to check that out. Um, I'm heading back to, to Delaware today. Uh, 
we got a lot accomplished while I was down here, but he still has a lot more things to, to grow and plant. And um, I brought him a, a galvanized steel raised garden bed. So I'm hoping he has it built by the next time I come down. If not, we'll be building that and, and filling that up. On March 14th, I went ahead and showed him how to plant his potatoes into a seven gallon grow bags. While well, they're dying back, one's died back completely, the other one's dying back right now. We're gonna hop right in and I'm gonna show you how they're looking. Okay, so here's the seven gallon grow bag. You can see the potatoes have died back and he actually even has a little tomato plant that started growing. So I'm gonna put it in the wheelbarrow. Roots even started coming through the bottom. <laughs> So these are the little nod nodes or nodules that start with the potato and then it keeps feeding it nutrients to get it up to that size. So that's kind of neat to see. So far it looks pretty good with how many potatoes he's got. So this was the, the yield off of one bag. I'm just going to place them right here into his grow bag and we have one more to check out. So here's his other grow bag. This all ended up dying back. So I'm not sure what we're gonna find when we dump this guy out, but we'll find out right now. Ooh, success. Have some potatoes. But all in all, still very good. We only lose one or two, I still call it a success. You want to leave the dirt on the potatoes until you're ready to use them. This gives it a little protection and then also if you clean it off completely, the potato has a better chance of rotting before you're ready to use it. So there's our little Yukon Gold and Red Potato Harvest. So as always everybody, thank you for watching, have a great day. He's coming out the door now. Take two. So, the other thing is you want to leave the dirt on the potatoes while they, uh, while you're just uh, kind of curing them. Uh, let me start that again. So you want to leave the dirt on the potatoes until you're ready to use them. Uh, this goes ahead and kind of uh, take three. So 